I want to thank again the board for selecting me as Metro's general manager. You are listening to the current Capital Metro CEO and President Randy Clark accepting a new position at Washington, D.C.'s Metro Authority this morning. And this comes as Project Connect in Austin, which voters approved billions of dollars for back in 2020, is getting underway. KXAN's Maggie Glenn looks at how the search for a new CEO at Capital Metro could impact the timeline for this project. I use it every day. Cap Metro provides around a million and a half rides each month. I don't have a car right now since I'm a first year in, at the university. So using the bus saves me money on gas and like it gets me there on time. And it's about to serve even more residents. CEO Randy Clark played a big role in Project Connect, the $10 billion transit plan, which includes new light rail lines, a subway, and an expanded bus system. He was intimately familiar with all of the details behind that and how we got to where we are today. Um, it's going to be a loss for Austin. John Langmore served on Cap Metro's board back when they hired Clark's predecessor, Linda Watson. He said that process took about six to eight months. It was a pretty exhaustive process. Lingmore says hiring an executive in the public sector is complicated. If you put three names forward to the public, then two of those aren't going to get the job, and yet the word is out that they're looking. It's a very difficult task to strike that balance between being transparent locally and, you know, not jeopardizing the job of someone that's doing well in their current position. He says it's too soon to tell if this will impact Project Connect's rollout. The longer that takes, the more it will have the potential to impact the schedule of Project Connect. Current Cap Metro board member Commissioner Jeff Trevelyan does not expect a change to the current timeline. I don't anticipate any delays uh, uh, because as we said before, we have got a team in place. Maggie Glenn at KXAN News. Austin Mayor Steve Adler also tells us he believes the project itself, already underway, along with Austin's growth, will attract top talent for the position. The upside potential for mobility in this city uh, is great, and, and so much of it now has been funded, and a lot of the barriers uh, clear, so there's open field for, for running it. New estimates last month showed the cost for adding two light rails had nearly doubled from the original estimate. Project Connect said there are three main drivers impacting the price tag, rising real estate costs, inflation and the supply chain, and design changes that include increasing the length of the underground tunnels. Even as Austin's population is spiking, Capital Metro ridership is down significantly from four years ago. In the first three months of 2018, there were 14 and a half million trips. The first three months of this year, there have been 9.3 million trips. COVID is likely responsible for some of that drop.